there is such a thing as the perfect franchisee. Um, we all have our individual individuality, and that is what we really promote. We don't want every shop to be exactly the same. We want folks to be able to build their shop, their way, in their neighborhood. Uh, yes, is the menu the same? Is somewhat the look the same? We call them uh, iconic symbols. Um, so they know they're in a teriyaki madness. But you know what? We want people to be able to own it and to feel like it's theirs. And that's really important to us. Um, we call it franchising my soul. It's we aren't some fluorescent plastic chair concept. We really believe in what we're doing and we want to feel good about what we're doing. What I do for the franchisees is really it starts with the franchisee, pro uh, franchisee discovery process. Um, and that's my responsibility. Our job there is really as if you're a potential franchisee, if you're a candidate, if you're interested in getting into the business, it's our job to really there to kind of work with you and understand what you're looking for understanding very well what we do and try to see if we're if we're a fit uh, and work you through the process helping you learn about what your what your needs are and what you're looking for in a business and trying to understand if that if teriyaki madness is a good fit for you one thing that you're buying is that experience we know how to do real estate we know how to do design we know how to do construction we know how to train you we have systems and processes in place when you get into operations that bring all of that to bear. We also know how to market our business. If you're a one store operator, you really have very little opportunity and very little ability to market. We have a very sophisticated marketing group that is really good at using modern technology and the modern media that are available to us and knowing how to market your individual shop they're going to do that much better than you're able to do that. So that's one side of it. You're buying a lot of expertise and a lot of know-how and a lot of support. Franchisees uh, come into a pretty rigorous training program. They have a lot to learn and not a lot of time to learn it. So uh, we, we do our best to allow them to learn both the uh, cash register, all of the back of the house positions, and all of the manager functions before they open their new restaurant. So once the franchisee opens their restaurant, uh, we have a uh, franchise business coaches that will go to the restaurant after we've done the new store opening training. And then they help support the franchisee uh, specifically in running their restaurant, uh, some of the manager functions. Uh, some of our franchisees have restaurant experience, some of them don't. And we are able to accommodate all levels of competency when it comes to management. The thing that I think is the greatest attribute of our uh, training program for franchisees and the ongoing support is the level of passion in which we support the brand. Uh, we have a lot of operators who have experience with uh, other brands and have been with uh, Team Ad for quite a while. And they, they truly, truly love what they do. They have a passion for watching franchisees succeed. And if somebody stumbles, we are here to help. This is something that you can really get behind and be passionate about. Uh, our guests love us, they tell us so, and our team has fun working for us. I head up all, all things marketing from the brand side to local store marketing. Uh, we work with our franchisees from the minute they sign their lease all the way through grand opening and then support them throughout the life of their shop. We did a bunch of research in 2019 where we asked our consumers, our own customers, um, what do they love about Teriyaki Madness. And the number one thing above all of our other brand differentiators uh, was the flavor and the taste of our food. So we know that if we get the food in people's mouths, they are very likely to come back. And so our, a lot of our strategy at the beginning when a shop is opening is to get the food in people's mouths. And the one time that we do um, some fairly heavy discounts is at the beginning. And that's just to create trial let people taste the food, and then they come back without offers later. The ones that are the most successful are the franchisees that get involved in their communities. That's the one piece we can't do from the office. That's something that has to be done locally. They know their market better than anyone. And so the franchisees who have been most successful are the ones who do our weekly fundraisers. And we give them all the materials to do those. 
Uh, we show them how. It's super easy. Uh, it's a, involving the community, it's giving back to the community, but it's also really inexpensive marketing. We're getting in front of four to six hundred families at one point, uh, in one time, when we're reaching out to schools or PTAs and PTOs or sports groups. The donation we give back isn't a huge amount, but it's also a tax write-off, it's giving back to the community, and it's marketing to hundreds of people in one shot. One of our uh, brand values, one of the words we use is collaboration. And we have probably 130 turnkey marketing programs in our library that all franchisees um, have access to. And I'd say a third of those ideas came from franchisees, came from people coming to us saying, hey, I want to work with the hospital across the street. What can we do? We brainstorm together. If there's an offer, we come up with a coupon. We're very data driven, so we track all results, and if it was something that worked well, we're going to put it in the library, share it out with everyone, and so everyone has all these great ideas um, that they can use and contribute to. So we're very collaborative, and that's, to me, one of the biggest benefits of, of being part of a franchise group. Our team is extremely passionate. It's probably one of the most passionate groups of people I've ever worked with. I think anyone would pick up the phone 24 hours a day if our franchisees needed something. Um, everyone just jumps in to help. It's very hands-on. No one has um, a, a role so specific that you wouldn't jump in and help with something else. So extremely hands-on and uh, we take accountability. That's one of our brand value words that, that we rely heavily on. So if I say I'm going to do something and I don't, I'm going to be the first one to raise my hand and say, whoops, I messed up and here's how I'm going to fix it. And we expect the same from the franchisees that we bring on. So it's a a culture of trust, of collaboration, um, and passionate, caring people. We have a lot of fun. Teriyaki Madness, when you look at it, you, it's a simple concept. So you don't need to come from restaurant backgrounds necessarily. Uh, we operate at a small footprint, low employee counts. We like to think of ourselves as kind of like a mom and pop teriyaki shop wrapped around a Fortune 500 technology stack. And then our support rivals, in, in our opinion, and I would say most others, some of the best in the business. So Michael Haith, our CEO, has invested tremendously in kind of the team that he's built over the last five, five and a half years, coming from McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Boston Market, KFC, Smashburger, goes on and on. But when you combine those two pieces, I think that's what really separates our concept at face value. Um, and then the margins are phenomenal. But that also obviously comes from the food. We're not like everybody else. Um, we very much stand ourselves uh, apart just from an execution level. But then when you look at our marketing collateral, it carries all the way down from consumer side to the actual franchisee support. So we're a little bit irreverent. We're not trying to be everything to everybody, but what we focus on, we're, we're some of the best at once again. Um, and so I think there is that, that piece of we dance on the line. Um, but we don't act like we know everything from the corporate office. We do grow and thrive off of our franchisees' experience, and it truly is a, a family of Teriyaki Madness franchisees and corporate office staff that it's hard to tell the difference. Um, we have healthy returns, to put it lightly. Um, take a look at our FDD, our corporate site. Um, we're as transparent as it, as it comes, and you can talk with franchise owners, both top performing all the way down to bottom quartile, and, and you can see it for yourself. So you don't have to take my word for maybe why you should invest. I would say start the process. It's the next big thing. So if you wanted me to describe teriyaki madness in one sentence. Oh, f Let's put that in there.